to the Nigerian Pilot TV News. Thanks for joining us. I am Amina Joanna Bass. But first, we look at the headlines. I neck to get acting chairman as Yakubu steps aside today. Lagos releases 253 NSAS protesters from custody. In Kaduna State, Kaduna State Government to install new Emir of Zuzo. And on the foreign scene, Joe Biden reveals first tax in office as president. On sports, Aston Villa stone Arsenal at Emirates Stadium. Now the news in details. The chairman of the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, is expected to hand over to an acting chairman today. The acting chairman will oversee the affairs of the agency pending the confirmation of his reappointment by the Senate. The ceremony is scheduled to take place at the conference hall of the Commission's headquarters in Abuja at 2 p.m., according to an invitation sent out to journalists by Yakubu's Chief Press Secretary, Mr. Rotimi Oyekami. Until his reappointment by President Muhammadu Buhari, Yakubu was first appointed INEC chairman in October 2015, but was officially sworn in on November 9, 2015. The Lagos State Attorney General and Justice Commissioner Moyo Suri Onigbanjo, SCN, has advised the court to immediately free 253 persons arrested by the police in connection with the NSAT's protest in the state. Onigbanjo said that the state's Directorate of Public Prosecution had assessed the temporary charges filed against them by the police and found no prima facie evidence that they committed any crime. According to a statement by the Director of Public Affairs in the Ministry of Justice, Kayode Onyekami, the Attorney General explained that the police forwarded 40 case files on 361 persons arrested in connection with the NSAS protest to the DPP for legal advice between November 4th and November 5th, 2020. The Kaduna state government has urged residents of the state to turn out en masse and participate in the ceremony of the coronation of the new Emir of Zozo. The Kaduna state government has urged residents of the state to turn out en masse and participate in the coronation ceremony of the new Emir of Zozo, Ambassador Ahmed Bameli. Bamali is to be installed as the 19th Emir of Zozo on November 9th at the Muhammadu Aminu Square Race Course, Jari Zaria. United States President-elect Joe Biden has said his first tax in office is to get the coronavirus pandemic under control. Biden stated this in his, in his acceptance speech, which he delivered before a crowd of supporters in his hometown of Willington, Delaware, over the weekend. He further stated that he will name a group of leading scientists and experts as transition advisors to help take the bidding Harry's COVID-19 plan and convert it into actual blueprint that will start on January 20th, 2021. And on sports, Dean Smith's Aston Villa on Sunday night is to a 3-0 victory at the Emirates Stadium thanks to Bukayo Saka on goal and Oli Watkins brace. Villa bounced back from a 4-3 defeat to Southampton that followed up a 3-0 reverse at home to Leeds United and got back to their early season form. And that's the news for the hour. Don't forget to join us next time and visit our website on www.nigerianpilot.tv and also our Facebook handles at nigerianpilot.tv on Twitter at nigerianpilot.tv and on Instagram at nigerianpilot.tv Thanks for joining us. I am Amina Joanna Bass. Bye for now. As events unfold around us, we give you information in Nigeria and around the world. We are the pilot of good information. We are Pilot TV. Connecting you to more information as it breaks. We are Nigerian Pilot TV. We are Pilot TV. Connecting you to the world.